I'm Verity Hampson. I'm the lighting and audiovisual designer for Before After, uh, written by a German playwright, Roland Schimmel Fleming. Uh, it's 51 scenes, um, they're all short scenes, vignettes, that are based um, roughly in one hotel room. In my first meetings with Christabel Sved, the director, uh, we talked a lot about how to make it possible to make something explode from something that is very small and minute uh, into something that is almost galactical. The play deals with a lot of perspective issues, uh, like some scenes will be replayed again, but the narrative will be taken from a different character's point of view. So we were looking at ways that we could warp perspective or show an audience a different perspective of a scene they were seeing at the same time. And that's where we came up with the idea of using some live camera feeds, and that has kind of um, ended up being some real close-ups of actors' facial expressions. The cameras are all operated by other actors, and sometimes those actors have a relationship in another scene with the character they're filming, so it um, has a much more natural... It's not something that's being forced on top of them. One of the concepts behind a lot of the pre-recorded imagery is uh, also body shots. We're looking at a lot of skin um, and how when a body is filmed in extreme close-up, it can look like a landscape. Another aspect of the pre-recorded footage that we use is some old cartoon footage uh, that yes, ties into the, the sense of memory some of the characters have. And sometimes we project it onto the wall and sometimes it is played on a small television at the back of the stage, which is um, just sometimes just playing a cartoon that has a similar through line that relates to the character whose scene we're in at the time. I'm really hoping audiences that come and see before or after experience uh, an explosion of something that goes from being something very small to something very big. The microcosm to the macrocosm is something that we're really hoping we achieve. That's, that we see a world that's neat and defined explode into something um, much more like what it, uh, our daily lives are like.